At number three, we're on Ramsey Street, where the sparks between Andrew and Summer cause a fire at the Scully's house. On Christmas Eve? Is that right? Yep, Christmas Eve. It was definitely Christmas Eve. Lynn, uh, basically, she's faced with an enormous uh, legal bill uh, in trying to uh, get uh, Steph out of jail um, and all her costs involved in her going into jail. Um, and she, obviously, she can't afford to pay these, so she conjures up the idea of uh, setting the house on fire accidentally uh, with some Christmas lights, a faulty set of Christmas lights. Now, what happens is she... she about to go, and then at the at the last moment, she goes, no, I can't do it. Her conscience gets the better of it. She goes, I, I cannot do it, I cannot do it. So she abandons the idea, but what happens is she leaves the Christmas lights there. Summer's come home and she decides that she's going to put another set of lights on the Christmas tree, not knowing they're actually faulty. She puts them up, goes to her room, listens to some music, and then Andrew comes along and they finally decide that you know, they're going to get it together and they're going to be together and that they do love each other and they end up going to bed together. Tash is just going to have to deal with it. He took the man way out, which is probably not the best idea, but when you're young and dumb, it's fun. While this is all going on, the lights on the tree are sparking and the fire breaks out and at this point Summer and Andrew are asleep and, and wake up when the smoke starts coming through under Summer's door. Summer? What? Summer? Get up. Oh my Come God. On, get up. While Natasha's at Andrew's house, she sees oh a fire God. going on at the Scully house. Uh, obviously, she starts panicking and she doesn't know where Summer is. Fire brigade, please. So she runs into the house. Summer! Backstage on the day of the fire was intense. There was literally flames going on around us. It was the biggest scene most of us have ever done. It was so real, it was ridiculous. We had flames on us, I had beams on me lying across. There was dirt absolutely everywhere. I've never heard so much silence in my life when someone talked. Everyone was so into what they were doing. Wow, that house is really on fire. But of course, what we do is we have a team of uh, pyrotechnics and, and special effects people who can, without doing one bit of damage, can make the house look like it's completely on fire. We have uh, yes. fire bars, which are, are literally, it's, it's like a, a sprinkler system, if you like, but instead of water coming out, it's flames come out. And they can set those, so you get in the foreground, the slightly background, and that you get flames coming up. Of course, they've got smoke machines, and they pump the house full of smoke, and that, so it does, it looks very, very very real. There was a lot of coughing. <coughs> <coughs> it was actually quite easy for me at that point because I was actually quite unwell on the day, which came in handy. She had to force out a cough, but it would come out as a real cough, so she was fantastic. <coughs> it was exhausting. Sandy Winton, who plays Michael, you know, he had to carry Tash into the room and, and he'd be coughing and spluttering and breathing really heavily and at one point he just laid on the ground and said, I need five minutes, I think I'm going to pass out. <laughs> Andrew, could you hear me? <laughs> Lying on set during the fire stuff was ridiculous. You had to lie there and I had to play dead, which I thought was going to be the easiest job in the world, lie there and have a sleep. But little did I know that I had a dirty ball of fluffy, blacky, sooty, smelly stuff sitting under my nose. So by the end of the day, it looked like a dirty, homeless chimney sweep. We were literally lying there with flames going off at the side of her head. I was worried about my hair for a little bit. But we got through it, it's all stayed attached. <laughs> This always makes me laugh. You see it so often uh, on, on a television or a film, there'll be a massive explosion or there'll be a big crash or there'll be something and cut to the, the, uh, the actors reacting to it. Um, and this, th this actually happened on the day during the fire and the roof collapses. And there's a loud bang and all the smoke puffs out and all of that. And that's what you saw on screen. We as the actors on the street, we know that we have to react to this loud explosion, but of course, that's all put in in post. We're all there on the street and this explosion is about to happen and it's one, two, three, bang. Andrew! Andrew! So it's weird. It's called acting. Oh, is that what you call it, Paul? <laughs> <laughs>